All right now. I said I'd do it, and it's been done. I have caught up to Common Rider X8. I, don't, I have seen episode 16 just now, and I'm gonna give my thoughts on it. But before I start our episode review slash reaction, I just want to talk about the episodes 13 through 15, which I watched before that to get to this point. Really good, really, really good. Like. I was expecting a little bit of a slowdown because a character just died. You know, I was just trying to like, kind of like, you know, a no hype little episode or two for, you know, the MC Emu to get over the death of Kujo Kiria. Rest in peace, my boy. But he's, he's back at it. You know, he was distracted for a while, but, you know, being a writer, he's got his job to do and he's back at it. I'm like, okay, I can, I can, I can feel that. And oh, oh my God. Oh my god! The fucking villain! Every time he opens his fucking mouth, get him, or get him, get him, whatever. <laughs> Every time he opens his mouth, it's about Kujo Kiria! He's always shitting on him! He's like, oh, well, is that a memento from Kujo Kiria? Oh, I will kill, I will bring you pain with a, another memento of Kujo Kiria. It's like, oh my god, dude. Just rub salt in the wound. What the fuck? It's only been like four weeks for most people and like just one week for me. I legit did not watch the rest of the episodes until today because I, after that episode 12, I was like, nah, man, I need some time. And you know, I'm glad to take my time because I got to watch three episodes instead of just, what was it? No, wait, I got to watch. No, wait, yeah, three episodes instead of just two or maybe instead of just one because now I'm caught up on x which I probably admittedly would not have done but considering that I have to do these weekly reviews now, I was like, fuck it, I'll stick to it, I'll do it, whatever. But I really wish I just could just let this series just pile up because to I just wish I could marathon it like I've done twice now. Like, it's such a good series to marathon and the pacing is really good. I mean, this fucking president, the president of Genem, or Gen M, <laughs> You know, he was working in the shadows for like the first part of the series. And you know, you'd think that'd go on a little bit longer, but here by episode 12, he's already out of the open, kills one of the main characters, and fucking is constantly coming back every week to fuck with these guys. And we're not even on episode 20 yet. I expected it to take a little bit longer before the characters like put it in their minds that it was him because, you know, Kiria tried to reveal that shit, but you know, he got swagged because of the little switcheroo bullshit they, they pulled. So I was thinking, okay, maybe this series will take maybe it'll take a little bit longer for this to be a part of the main series. But it's already a part of the story. He's a known villain at this point. And I'm like, God damn. And it's all for the it's all for the purpose of this Common Rider Chronicle game. Which, honestly, I'd say he's your uh, he, I mean this is a good goal for the villain to have, because I want to play a really good Common Rider game. And, you know, Rider games are okay, but if you know a like, really goddamn good one, you know. Maybe this guy went insane from playing mediocre Kamen Rider games and now he wants to bring a really g damn good one. But anyway, like I really enjoyed the few episodes I had to watch to get to 16. Episode 15 was really good. The Mighty Brothers hype is pretty fucking legit. I do like that hype. I will say this is probably something I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have liked if I hadn't seen the show. Like at first, initially I'd be like, what the fuck is that design? What is this bullshit Super Mario's motherfucking shit? But it is good, the whole co-op co uh, co swag that goes with it, the whole, uh, you know, 2v1 thing he usually does, or maybe he'll take on uh, either their own enemy, it's cool, it's cool, I like it, it's fine. And the, the really, the final attack for that form is really damn hype, I mean, I gotta say, all that kicking and all that, com the combo king, Emu the Beast, I do respect that, that is also good, so, I don't know, man, I just... <laughs> I wasn't expecting X8 to be so goddamn good. I mean, what the fuck? It still blows my mind. I'm sitting here talking about this show like it's one of the best things of 2017 for me. And it pretty much is. I mean, I'm excited. I'm hyped. I'm pissed off. I'm caught up. Because now I gotta fucking wait another week. But yeah. Episode 16. I would say probably like 15 and 14 more. But it was a good episode because... Tiger's been a fucking dick for the entire show, and he's finally getting a little bit of humanity to him. Thank God. I do like his little interaction with that girl, whatever. That's some cool shit, you know. It reminds me a little bit of, I mean, not entirely different, 
But, you know, it's like that fucking character, the whole dynamic they have with those two characters in Kabuto. Uh, the dice game motherfucker. But, unfortunately, he had, like, 30 minutes of screen time in the whole fucking series. Wasn't even a, he didn't even show up at the final episode. So, here we got to we get, we get that whole little dynamic again. It's probably going to be done better. So, I can appreciate that. Uh... By the way, it just really fucked up, too. The atmosphere of this show is relentless. Emu is actually infected with the fucking gaming illness, doesn't even know it, and nobody can tell him, because if they tell him, his stress will go up, and God knows what kind of buckster's gonna come out of that kid. So, oh my God, it's just all this fucking shit going on. It's just, it's just so good. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good, it's so goddamn good. I'm just so hyped. Just to see what's gonna happen next week. I know he's gonna fucking fuse with a burger or some shit, but you know, Ganem is gonna be coming to shut that shit down soon. And I'm thinking he might be at the pace this series go, it's possible he could even reveal to him that he has a sickness. But I don't know if he'd do that because, well, he did kill Kiria because he was. But that's only because we, we found out he only did it because Kiria was gonna try to get rid of the virus. So he doesn't really have any problems with the knowledge of it. But I'd assume him knowing about that wouldn't work for him, so maybe he won't tell him. But with the pace this show's been going, at the pace that this show has been keeping up consistently, I, I just don't know. It, it, it could be a thing that they do. Who knows? X8 moves so fast. It's like fucking 16, it's 16 episodes and it feels like it could possibly be 30. I mean, holy fuck. All this, all this shit that's gone down, it's just like bam, 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 Cujo's dead, bam. Oh, uh, Kyria's got the, uh, no, Kyria's not Kyria, Kyria's dead already. Yeah, I already just said that. Not, fuck! Okay, I'll start over. <laughs> Kiri is dead. Amu's got the disease. What you fucking call it? A hero smiled. Which means at least ten kids died that instance. I was like, holy fuck, did Hero just smile? I was like, yo, I had to rewind that shit. I was like, I didn't want to screen cap it. It was just so weird. I was like, oh, oh, man, what the fuck? And then he lost his gashets. Also... How often do people lose their fucking gashach, gashach, whatever the fuck you, how the fuck you pronounce it? <laughs> how do they lose it so much? Somebody's always stealing their shit. Or remember, he's, remember, he's supposed to that motherfucking Tiger guy who's always doing it. But now, you know, Ganon must do it too because he's tired of these motherfuckers. He's got his data. He, he's trying to get that shit back. And, you know, company, company business. I believe, I understand it. This is, those are his products. He paid for it. He's trying to get it back. But anyway, those are my, that's my thoughts on X8 and 16 right now. I mean, like I said, it was a good episode. Looking to see, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on next. I'm gonna be wearing this jacket and this shirt every X8 video for the memento of my boy Kujo Kiria, who I will never forget. You know, Adam might have moved on, but I haven't moved on yet. It's only been a week for me. It's so brutal, and X8's too goddamn good. And I just, I, I, I don't know when that fucking uh, Asakura special's coming out, but I'm hyped for that shit. I'm just so glad I was wrong about this show. This episode was good. Not much else I can really say about it. X-Aid is the truth. <laughs>